happy Easter, lovely frugal friends. And if you don't celebrate Easter, happy Sunday. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Samantha, this is the channel Trying To Get By. And we have got by pretty well, I think, this month with our budget. We spent some money, but we also got some vouchers this month, which is really great. So that's helped quite a bit. So we're gonna have a look, add up, while I'm doing the editing, see how much we've spent, and we'll come back at the end. Now, have a guess how much you spent. Put in the comments below, before you watch the rest of the video, put in the comments below how much you think we have spent this month. Have a look and see. Just done a little bit of shopping. We've just been to Rogers Wholesale. For those of you who don't know, Rogers Wholesale has got about five or six warehouses across the country and they sell things that are overstocked or out of date but are best before dates. None of the stuff actually though we've got today is past its best before date. It's all still within. Uh, might run out by the end of this month, but not too worried about that. Anyway, what did we buy? <laughs> well, there are 40 packs of noodles in each one of these boxes, but each box was only four pound each. So that works 10p a pack of noodles. I'm not gonna get them any cheaper anywhere else. Um, the sodium's a little high in them for Chris because if you've, I've kind of mentioned his cholesterol's up and things like that. So we're just trying to be a bit more healthful with his diet, but we don't need to use the little sachets that are in there. We can just use the noodles. So that will take it down considerably. So 10p a pack, bargain. Then we got some Welch's purple grape juice, yum. We got this sparkling iced pink grapefruit flavor drink. We've got some B vitamin flavored drink. Uh, let me just have a look at the prices of everything else. So the Welch's Purple Grape Juice was £4 for six. The, this was £4 for 12. And the Get More Vets was £3 for 12. Ooh, let's move that over there. We've also got some Caribbean peas and beans. There are 12 tins there. That looks amazing. That was also, that was only £3 for 12. So overall in Rogers, we spent £26, but we don't class any special drinks in our food budget. They come out of like the entertainment treat budget that we have, which is separate. So physically from the food budget is just for the noodles and the rice, and sorry, not the rice, the peas and beans, which is £15. But on the way out, we also nipped in to Tesco's, saw all these in the whoops. There was nearly a frenzy in that yellow sticker area. There were so many people trying to get things and I spotted these in one of the tubs, so I grabbed them quickly. Not bad, 83p for bacon lardons. Again, high in um, sodium salt, but this will literally be a tiny, tiny sprinkle on something. So not too bad as a little treat. Cauldron sausages, 69 pence for those. They're pretty good. And finally, wicked meatballs. Oh my goodness, they were 83 pence. So physically in Tesco's, I spent £2.35. I've written it all down on here. So in total today, we have spent £17.35 for all the foodstuffs and just... £11 on all those drinks, which is not bad at all. Okay, what have we got shopping-wise today? We have picked up Skimmy Skim, Semi Skim Milk, Lactose Free, still better price than it used to be. It seems to be the standard price now because there's no kind of we've price matched Aldi, that kind of thing on there because I think Aldi have reduced theirs even more, to be honest, at the moment. We got some bananas, we got some... Um, soy um, yogurt Chris had this last week from the offer and really liked it and it's really delicious in his breakfast so we've popped a little bit of that in there as well we have got a couple of beyond burgers they're normally two, four pounds something nearly five pound reduced to two pound fifty on the app plus I got one that was reduced even more as well and then we have got some not on the app I said on the app, I meant the Tesco club card. Anyway, also reduced prices on the tomatoes at the moment. They're only 79p and they're not too bad tasting. They're normally £1 something, so that's quite a decent price. Apples, potatoes, 
um, some salad leaves. Watch this. Again, what happens is I buy lettuce leaves because I've not seen anything on Olio. And then tonight there'll be a load of lettuce leaves on Olio. But never mind. <laughs> um, we have got some of our lovely raspberry Swedish glass ice cream. If you are not vegan, it doesn't matter. If you like ice cream, this is delicious. And another thing we've got, which we've not had before, are these Merchant Gourmet vegetable and grain mixes. So this is a Korean style. This is a Mediterranean style. And this is a Mexican style. Three pound each normally. But I have found them on, I think it's the Green Gin app um, for pound fifty. So pound fifty off, so I'll get pound fifty cash back so it'll only cost me one pound fifty per pack which is pretty decent one pound fifty for that is not too bad i wouldn't pay three pound but there we go so all together with all of this today we have spent 22 pound and 58 pence that is minus all the discounts yes smarty it's pretty good that isn't it did you hear him in the background that cat will not be quiet just back from an oleo collection this is what we have got today some Crispy salad, some a mixed vegetable medley, some carrot batons, quite a few carrot batons, even more carrot batons. That's fine, they'll get used. I'm quite into hummus at the moment. So, yeah, hummus. I might make some roasted carrot hummus. I might have some roast these off and then put them in the hummus. And plus, these can just be chucked in the freezer easy as we use something else and also a couple of boxes of eggs which considering they are free i don't mind as much because i would hate for these to go to waste there we go and yeah pretty decent haul plenty of carrots we are midway into March. We have spent £21.26 today. Still waiting on my vouchers from my life insurance on top cashback. Duh. Keep clicking on every couple of days just to see whether or not it's any still same pending. So we're hoping it'll come through sooner rather than later. But what did we buy? We bought three lactose milk. We've topped up our nutritional yeast, a couple of lemonades, apples, butterhead salad, uh, bananas. The sweet and ripe environment tomatoes have gone back up in price over a pound now um, compared to I think they were 79p last week. But they are the tastier ones I find. I find just salad tomatoes are not as tasty. And the salad tomatoes were really, really big. And this sort of size is perfect for me for a sandwich once I've sliced it up. Cucumber, some onion granules to top up what we've got. And I don't know whether you can believe it or not, but we are nearly out of the tofu that we bought from... Um, where did we get it from? Blue Dragon? Something like that. I can't even remember the name. We go to a, um, a Chinese supermarket in Manchester. We went there in sort of like middle February and we bought loads of tofu. We've on our last packet. So we've just bought some cauldron because that was the best price one there. And I've said before, but I prefer this one because the block is definitely square and you can slice it much better. So I will slice this, fry it, put a little bit of seasoning on and then cool it. And then that goes as Chris's sandwich meat if I'm not making my... Uh, cooked sandwich meat with my nutri with my vital wheat gluten so that does the job as well so there we go that's what we got and I wonder if we'll get any more lettuce tonight or tomorrow on oleo so what did I just say I've bought lettuce on Thursday I've done an oleo pickup on Friday and what have I managed to get a load of That's just typical. Oh, well, um, it will get used. They're only small bags. We can easily go through one bag in a meal. Not a problem. And I love lettuce on a sandwich, so that's good. Also got some bagel things because bagels are so, so yummy. Love bagels. And an avocado. Probably need using up today because... You can never, this is the good thing about not having to buy it, not buying avocados is you're not disappointed when you get a duff one because at least you've not 
spent money on it so zero spend and definitely lots of sandwiches and salads coming up just done a little bit of weekend shopping you'll have to excuse smarty cat he's moaning at me already for food so what did we get we nipped to lily's deli to pick up some walnut halves because this pack is a 750 gram pack and it only cost me 7.99 which is a massively better price than tesco's also got a bit of garlic paste because that's always handy to have in so that there came to nine pound 24 while we were chill, um, that sort of direction, we nipped into Morrison's to get some dog food and we spotted that the Alpro was on a really good offer. So we got some of that as well. And Chris said the bananas he's got are not going to last and he fancied some oranges. So we spent £6.94 in Morrison's. Then we went over to Unicorn Grocery, which, as you know, is one of my favourite places. We've got some vital wheat gluten. I thought I'd get two in to make sure we had enough to make some sandwich meat. Um, we've got our bouillon powder, which we love. I got two again to keep us going. I got a thing of mixed herbs, a basil, a herb de Provence, and some oregano to top up all our herb jars. That came to £19.64, but these are... How much is the everything? Let me read it off to you because it's pretty good prices. £4.49 for the Vital Wheat Gluten. 99p for the Herbe de Provence. Now you think about that, that's 50 grams. You get maybe 10 grams in a jar at the normal supermarkets. Uh, £1.5 for the Oregano. Mixed herbs, 99p. Bullion powder is two lots at 3 29 but it tastes amazing and had so much flavour. And the basil, £1.5p. So overall, for this, although there's not a great deal, this stuff is going to last us ages. So £35.82 in total. Also, same day, did a um, oleo pickup on the way home from Friends. And collected all the broccoli because I am currently still obsessed with air fried broccoli. If you have not tried it, tried it, please, please try it. It is absolutely delicious. You can have it as a side. I sometimes just cook it up and dip it in um, a little bit of hummus, or you could put a drizzle of tahini on top. But it is absolutely divine. Now I will say it works better with fresh broccoli. You can get away with it with frozen, but it's not quite as good. Just got a little oleo, little, not little, 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 little oleo collection. Uh, a couple of wholemeal breads. Um, oh, now these are not very um, <laughs> healthy, but because they're plant powered, I thought, you know what, I'm going to get these, but I'm just going to chuck them in the freezer. I'm sure they'll be fine in the packet. Um, yeah, they'll be good. So I've got four of those and some roses. So I'm going to pop those in. I've got some flowers left over from a previous oleo, so I'm just going to add it to those. So that's what we got today. I am back from shopping now. A bit different today. Went to Tesco's and uh, Marks and Spencer's with my dad, but didn't buy anything from Tesco's, as you can see from the front of here. We have been to the Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's instead, and the reason why is because I have some Sainsbury's vouchers. So to use those... Um, we went to Sainsbury's, well I went to Sainsbury's and did what we needed to do there Bought all this, so let's go through what we got and how much we paid and see what we think of the price So, malted whole grain thingies, wheat bisques, a couple of minestrones, a couple of vegetable soups A hot and sour soup, a couple of hummuses, a cucumber, some coleslaw This is plant coleslaw, so that's nice for us Tomatoes, these were um, on next price as well. Um, potatoes, onions, mushrooms, chickpeas, milk. The milk there is more expensive than Tesco's, but like I say, we had vouchers. The coffee looked a similar price, £2.25. Ketchup and a ketchup. The Swedish glass, I recognise that was a little bit more expensive. The Benacol, that was also on Club Car no nectar card prices we got a big rice and is that everything oh yeah we got these we've had these before but these uh normally are one pound 50 but i'm going to get them for 50p each 
because we're doing a cash back on shop meum so that knocks it down from £1.50 to 50p so the price that we have paid for all this before we take off any shop me and the stuff is 47 pound 98 what do we think good bad yeah um knocking off that price for those i'm actually gonna it's costing me because i'm gonna get that two pound cash back 45.98 but because we paid for it on our vouchers it has cost us a big fat zero so it's a good job because I feel as though this is slightly higher. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Is it higher than what we would normally pay in Tesco's? Right, final shop of the month. We're still buying in Sainsbury's mostly because we're still using up those vouchers. We've finished those vouchers now. So that's pretty good. So all in all, we got... Oh, okay. It's it's the cheap vegetable day today. I have mentioned it and I have posted about it on our Facebook page, but it's cheap vegetable day. So lots of vegetables in British supermarkets, UK supermarkets are selling certain veggies for like 15 pence a pack. So I got now different supermarkets are selling different things. So I noticed that Tesco's were doing the onions. So as I was in Tesco's with my dad, as I normally go to Tesco's, I bought onions because I knew that Sainsbury's weren't doing onions. So I did pay 30p for two bags of onions. So 15p each. The rest is from Sainsbury's. <laughs> I saw the 15p potatoes and then I saw these ones reduced to 10p. So I put the 15p ones back and bought the 10p ones. <laughs> Yes, I only saved 10p, but it's 10p of my money. So I bought those. Um, got Chris some lactose milk, saw some mushrooms reduced, so we got that. We got some coleslaw because I'm making pizza for tea. Uh, Chris fancied, see, this is what happens when Chris comes with me, so I end up buying something extra. But he's getting a pocket pie with some chips for tea tonight. Um, I bought some peppers. These peppers work out a lot better price-wise than the so-called sweet peppers. So we got our 15p parsnips, our 15p carrots, our 15p cabbage. We bought some Alpro. We bought some bananas. The Tetley tea bags on the Green Gin app. Now, these are normally about £3.40. The 40, they're reduced to £2.50 on the Nectar um, at, um, the Nectar card. And then Green Gin are doing a £2 cash back on that as well. So I only paid 50p for those once I've claimed my cash back. So that's pretty good. There we go. So all this from Sainsbury's was £13.96. Add my extra 30p makes it £14.26. Not bad at all. I was about to wrap up this month's video, but saw that um, my local oleo collector had some things ready to go. So I've nipped out. It is late at night. It's about 10 o'clock, I think. Yeah, 10 o'clock at night. And I was I was awake and I was up and so I went out and we picked up some bags of salads, a couple of salad boxes, some mushrooms and some wholemeal bread, which continues our now two year no buying bread situation thank you to oleo so these are just going to get chucked in the fridge they'll be used in the next couple of days so easy enough and i think i'm going to conclude the video now and do the editing and talk about how much we've spent okay have you put your estimates in the comments box below let's see how close you got so i didn't do any adding in the corner so unless you're really good at mentally adding everything up let's see how we did so overall on my scratchy piece of paper as usual overall this month we spent 157 pounds and 25 pence now that's not taking off our vouchers that's what we would have spent or if we'd gone to the shops that's how much would have come out of the bank but with vouchers included we ended up spending 97 pounds and 31 pence so we've saved ourselves a good 50 pounds this month by using our vouchers now if you are interested in where i get my vouchers from i do surveys and various online things 
if you email me at trying to get by 2021 at gmail.com i'll send you a list of some of the voucher the places that i get my vouchers from and you can have a look and see if it's worthwhile for you to do it i personally feel it's worthwhile for me so it's worked for us so far also 97 pounds that's a little bit more well it's still within our 100 pound a month budget but we did do some good spends. We did our Rogers wholesale, wholesale spend, which is fabulous. Those noodles are doing really, really well. We've not got through a box yet, thank goodness. We're going to make them last as long as possible. But also our big shop at um, Unicorn Grocery with those herbs and spices and our Vital Wheat gluten and all things like that, that will last us for ages. So we won't need to top up that at all. Hopefully, no, won't need to go there next month. Possibly the month after. I'm finding unicorns a two-month-ish thing. And Rogers, well, it happens to be on the way to one of our friends. So we do nip in there every now and again. Sometimes we don't buy anything. But it's always good if I'm going past to have a quick look and see what we've got. So how do you think we did this month? What did you think about that first saying to be shop? Do you think that was quite expensive? It felt expensive to me. Maybe I'm just not used to their prices maybe i buy things that are within their price range that is more expensive i don't know tesco just seems a little bit cheaper let me know in the comments below where do you shop what do you find is the best value um shopping place for you anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more of my other shopping hauls i will post a video over here and i mentioned my sandwich meat which is a really really good sandwich meat to make if you are vegan vegetarian and i'll pop a link to that one over here thanks for watching i'll see you next time